Hey happy homemakers, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be what I got my kids for Christmas. So if you're new to the channel and you're just finding this video, I have a three-year-old daughter and a five-year-old daughter. My three-year-old is into anything girly and baby dolls, and my five-year-old is into reptiles, and she's really into Pokemon and Baby Yoda. So this is what we got this year. So first of all, I do wanna share with you guys um, the off on the shelf stuff we're doing. So last year we started this Shepherd on a Search. This is a Christ-based version of the Elf on the Shelf where the shepherd is searching for baby Jesus and you just move him all around like Elf on the Shelf. And there's a book that comes with him that we read when he comes out. So my girls have really been talking about wanting an elf because all their friends have elves. So we're going to incorporate this still to have the Christ-based version of it, but we're also going to incorporate an Elf on the Shelf. Now we had bought one and then my daughter's like, I hope we get a girl. And I'm like, oh, darn, you said that after our order. It. So I was able to return that one and get a girl one. The girl one doesn't look a whole lot different, but I'll show you guys. It does say on the front of the box, I'm a girl. And you can get these, I believe, at Target and Amazon. That's the only two places I've ever seen them. But the girls can be harder to find. Um, I've never really seen them at Target. They do look a little different in the face. You can tell where the girl looks different in the face. Sorry, I'm getting so much glare on there. Um, but because she doesn't look a ton, ton different, it's mainly just that she has the eyelashes. I did purchase some skirts for her because I was worried my daughters were not going to <laughs> accept the fact that she is a girl. So this has the book as well. So we'll be doing the book tradition with them this year for the first time. This is the kit that I got from Amazon that comes with um, I forget if these are little leg warmers or hand muffs or what they are, but there's three skirts in there. And a little headband thing. And this was like, there was a bunch of different options and prices. I believe this one was either five or $8. I was looking at several different options and I can't remember which one I ended up buying off the top of my head, but I think this one might've been $8. There was some where it was like 10 or $20 for one skirt. So, um, this again Amazon and so that's gonna go on the girl elf. I want to show you guys what the girl elf looks like with the skirt on and I actually realized in addition to the eyelashes she does have like this blush on her cheeks and also earrings so it's a little bit more obvious that she's a girl when you take a closer look at her. I just I didn't notice those details at first but adding the skirt is definitely a nice touch. So just to clarify, we don't really teach our children about Santa or else, but they choose to believe even though we told them, um, you know, it's just for fun or whatever. So I, I try to be careful in case my husband or wife's kids watching this with them, but we just tell them it's for fun, but they like to do the whole magic and fun of it. So these jammies, this is for my five-year-old. Like I said, she's really into baby Yoda and these are really fuzzy and comfortable and these were from target and these i don't know if we got these on sale or not but the full price is twelve dollars so for my three-year-old we got her this princess dress and this is also really soft and it kind of both of these feel a little bit like flannel but they're thin so i don't know what kind of material that is but very very soft um all it says on here is flame resistant this was 12 dollars as well but i think these might have been 50 percent off i'm not sure we got these a couple of months back for my five-year-old Alexa, we got her this little, um, she had seen this somewhere months ago and like was going crazy over it because this is from Frozen, but um, it's the little, I don't know, little lizard or something. And like I said, she's really into those. Kinsey is obsessed with Olaf's and Frozen, so three-year-old gets that one. These are probably gonna go in their stockings. They saw these, I'm not sure who's getting which one, but they saw these at the little bookstore at our church and they both were like, saying for weeks how they wanted it so they were a bit pricey um they were like $8.99 each but it was you know the money is going to the church i guess so i guess it's a good cause but those will go in their christmas stockings um also we'll probably be getting a few little nick and acky things here and there to go in their christmas stockings and then i'll probably be putting all their halloween candy in their christmas stockings that's something i usually do if you guys don't do it that's a good trick for you usually the middle of november the halloween candy disappears and it reappears in their stockings so also for Lexa, these were, I don't remember how much we got these for, but these were like really discounted on Amazon Prime Day. Um, so I don't remember how much they were, but that was Amazon Prime. And they're just some Pokemon figurines that she had been asking for. Also, she wanted a Bulbasaur, is that, yeah, uh, stuffed animal. So we got that off of Amazon on Prime Day as well. 
a lot of this was like 50 to 60% off or maybe even more than that. So that's why we went ahead and got those. And then she already has a, she has the uh, yellow character, whatever that one's called. Um, so she wants to collect like all of these and she's really into stuffed animals. She's been into stuffed animals like basically her whole life. That's the one thing she's never not been into. She's usually into something different every year, but stuffed animals are here to stay. She loves them. So we also got Kinsey this playhouse. It has a lot of sounds and phrases and it has um, a bunch of the furniture and then it has Coco Melon the mom and a couple other things. My girls really do play with these little knick-knacky toys a lot. We have a ton of them, but certain characters they really do play with a lot. So I think that she's definitely gonna love this one. So after I finished the video, I realized I missed this one. So I'm just inserting it here. But this is another thing that we got Kinsey. This was on clearance at Walmart as well. A $6 on sale from 14. So we just snagged that to go with her Coco Melon house. Also forgot to show you guys. So my plan is that the shepherd's gonna show up with the elf tomorrow morning when we're decorating the tree. The shepherd brings the elf as a gift and then the elf is going to bring their pajamas as a gift and tell them to wear their new pajamas to decorate the Christmas tree. The message from the elf in the shepherd is gonna be like, we're gonna come back December 1st. So on December 1st, when the elf comes back for good, it's going to give them this countdown as a gift and that's gonna be like day one. And the way that I have it laid out is some, uh, most of the time the elf is not just gonna be hiding this year. I've really planned it out. I hope it's gonna be so much fun. And I'm making it where the elf's gonna be doing like little trickster things and goofy things. And then the shepherd's gonna be trying to keep him in line. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So on Saturday mornings and Sunday mornings, they're gonna have more of an activity, like maybe a craft to do with the elf or a scavenger hunt or something like that. I'll be sharing that with you guys. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Make sure if you're subscribed, your notification bell's on so you don't miss those. Some of them will probably be shorts and then I might make like a whole compilation video of it for ideas I don't know but um, I'm gonna try to do shorts that way you guys can follow along so if you need new ideas as the month is playing out you can kind of steal some of the ideas which I've mostly still them stolen them from like Pinterest and different places and kind of put my own spin on it so show up with this and then we're gonna have a whole list of fun things to do I think that's gonna be awesome okay so we have the Shepherd with a present for the girls, which is the elf wrapped up. And then we're gonna have two presents underneath the tree that are from the elf, which are gonna be their jammies that Aaron's wrapping up now. So I think they're gonna get a big kick out of this when they wake up in the morning. This is her big gift. This was actually really expensive, but we got it like really discounted. It was over 50% off. This is the one that I think is originally like 80 bucks and we got it over 50% off. So this one does all kinds. There's so many different ones of them. I got confused originally cause you can get some cheaper ones, but this one does all the sounds and stuff, which reminds me I need to get some batteries, but this is her big gift for Alexa, my five year old. This is the big gift she's been begging for. Kinsey has this crybaby just because she loves any dolls and the unicorn Norwell kind of, oh, this is a Norwell. And she saw this in the store one day. It was on clearance. So I saw it was on clearance. She was going crazy over it. So I snagged this one up for her. And then her big gift, this is what I'm most excited about. Okay, you guys have to tell me if you're like this. I'm one of those moms that like, if I know it's the best present they're gonna be most excited about, I save it for the end. So this is what I'm gonna do with it the baby Yoda and then this, you guys, oh my goodness. This is amazing. I'm gonna pull you guys in close so you can see. This is a much more realistic baby and she is from Amazon as well. I wasn't, I was going back and forth of whether I was gonna get her one that had its eyes closed or not. She does come with a few little accessories. Right now she has a birth certificate. She has a, she does have a magnet. Um, in her mouth so that her pacifier will go on her, but look how realistic she looks, you guys. I'm so excited. This is what I'm the most excited for. And she can fit regular baby clothes. So I have told some of my sisters um, as gifts for Kinsey at Christmas to give her like preemie baby clothes or newborn baby clothes for her new doll. Her hair and everything is so realistic. I'm sure you guys will see her on the channel later on. Actually goes. I love that she has such a sweet smile on her face. I think this is perfect for Kenzie. I'm super excited to give her this one. She is going to freak out. This is a reborn doll. Like she has some slight bald spots just to make her more realistic, like a real baby. And you can kind of move her around and cover them. But look how precious her face is. 
Uh, you guys can tell I'm excited about this one. I'm so, this is like what I'm the most excited about. And she's not, she's like, you know, she's an in-between. I think she was about 50 bucks. She's not like the ones that cost like hundreds or thousands of dollars, but she's just that in-between first stage of a realistic baby doll versus, you know, a 10 or $20 Walmart baby doll that you're gonna buy. So, Kinsey is going to love this. I'm so excited to give this to her. Any of these that I have links for, I'll link them down below in case you guys are interested in any of these gifts for your kids. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye. Thank you.